Hi guys, welcome to the 5DS channel. Former United Heavyweight World Champion Anthony Joshua ranks 5th in the updated World Boxing Association. Back in September, the Briton was the champion of the organization, but then he was defeated by unanimous decision of the judges from Alexander Usyk, after which he was only in the middle of the top 10. Above Joshua were Daniel Dubos, Michael Hunt, Robert Hellenius, and Hugh Fury. At the same time, AJ is ahead of two other status heavyweights, then Dave Wilder and Andy Ruiz. Mike Burrell, manager of Cuban heavyweights Frank Sanchez, is confident that his boxer can defeat the WBC title holder Tyson Fury. As we previously reported, the World Boxing Council has allowed the heavyweight champion Tyson Fury to conduct a violentary defense of his title, thus denying Dillian White the status of an official contender. The head of the mushroom boxing promotion company Eddie Hearn, who represents White's interests, says that he will do everything possible for Fury to meet his word in the next fight by order of the arbitration card. Alexander Krasuk, the promoter of the WBA, WBO and IBF heavyweight title holder Alexander Usyk, compared the actions of Anthony Joshua in a fight with his word and Saul Alvarez in a duel against Kali Plant. Recall that Joshua lost to Usyk by unanimous decision in September, and Alvarez defeated Plant ahead of Shadow this month and became the absolute world champion in the second middleweight division. Alexander Usyk, at a recent meeting with children from the Parimaj Foundation, expressed confidence that he would be able to become an absolute world champion in the second weight for himself. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. If you really enjoy the content, then please subscribe to my channel and keep watching the videos. If you are subscribed, then you receive notifications about the release of new videos. You do not even have to look for anything personally. I really want to get 10,000 subscribers on my channel. I'm trying very hard absolutely every day and I need your support. Your likes, comments, reposts to social networks. Thanks to everyone who subscribes to my channel. You are my support. Thank you so much. Mike Burrell, manager of Cuban heavyweight Frank Sanchez, is confident that his boxer can defeat WBC title holder Tyson Fury. Today Frank Sanchez is one of the most active high-class fighters. Frank fought in the so main event of the third Fury Wilder fight. He took part in Canelo's pay-per-view evenings. And now he will box in the next so main event before the fight of Charles Martin and Luis Ortiz. Frank had an extraordinary accent to the top, and it's also impossible to deny his talent. I think Frank Sanchez is capable of beating Tyson Fury. At the same time, Tyson is not a fool, so I doubt that he will hold a well under defense against Frank in the near future. He needs to move on, defeating guys like Efa Ajagba to get close to the status of a mandatory challenger. Considering the move Frank has made, I have no doubt that this will happen very soon. The day Frank Sanchez gets a chance and fights for the title will be the day he becomes the heavyweight world champion. But I will say it. The head of the mushroom boxing promotion company Eddie Hearn, who represents White's interests, said that he will do everything possible for Fury to be his word in the next fight by order of the arbitration card. The whole point of arbitration is that Dillian White gets what he deserves, not some random offer. We will act aggressively until we get justice. The proposal put forward by Fury's side is more than unacceptable. Now Dillian has now been recognized as a mandatory contender, but we will definitely go through this wild process so that the WBC changes its decision. Fury has now been allowed to conduct a voluntary defense, but I don't think it's realistic. A lot is going on behind the scenes of the courtroom, but we will stand our ground and not let this happen, Hearn said. Alexander Krasuk, the promoter of the WBA, WBO and IBF heavyweight title holder Alexander Usyk, compared the actions of Anthony Joshua in a fight with his word and Saul Alvarez in a duel against Kelly Plant. There is a difference between Joshua and Canelo in the software that is loaded into them. Anthony was careful and Alvarez wasn't afraid to miss. He walked forward and knew that even if he missed, he would still answer and achieve his goal. 
Joshua was wary, because when in the third round he received one strength on the beard from Dusik, it came to the understanding that let him be called a small cruiser, but when he flies, it hurts and because of it his legs gave away. Psychologically, the person closed down and was no longer what the fans wanted him to be. But we have a rematch. There is every reason to believe that he will behave this way in the rematch. I'm sure that no one at the fans, but also the team, coaches, promoters, managers, family, everyone will demand from Joshua exactly this format of fighting, Krasiuk said. The world champion in the three main heavyweight versions, Alexander Usyk, told about the most important things during boxing. I think all combat sports should not arouse aggression, Usyk said. There should be no sense of this aggression when a fighter on the UFC or in some boxing boss of his anger. It's all nonsense. It is necessary to carry out the development that you are doing. Rely on your skills. You train not in order to be someone, but in order to be a hider in the competition, killing a weak and insecure person inside yourself. The most important thing in boxing is your leg. Legs bring to victories and carry away from defeats. We need to move. You can stand in one place. And after each of your actions, when you hit, you must make a defense. Go to the side and break the distance. Usyk at a recent meeting with children from the Parimach Foundation expressed confident that he would be able to become an absolute world champion in the second weight category for himself. I will do it because I am going to it. But then to consider myself somehow great is not mine, said Usyk. It seemed to me that everything that happens to people who are remembered even after their departure is not only their work. Such people are remembered not because he only won. No, there are still many factors that make other members athletes, some outstanding people in the field of literature or somewhere else. Of course, I want it, and you do, you work, sometimes it doesn't work out. But you should never give up, and you keep going and going. After all, sometimes we have a step left before it happens. And we turn around and run away, Uzuk said. Bulgarian ex-heavyweight title contender Kubrat Pulev commented on the third fight of the WBC world champion in his division, Tyson Fury, against Deontay Wilder. I watched Fury's third fight with Wilder. From the point of view of technology, it turned now not very good, but it's a heavyweight, a completely different weight category. Their fight was more like a street fight, in which there was not much technique, but Tyson Fury showed that he's better than Wilder. I think that Dante is not doing well with psychology, Pulev said. Recall that in October Fury knocked Wilder in the 11th round, although he was knocked down twice during the fight. Kubrat Pulev predicts that his former rival Anthony Joshua will suffer an early defeat in a rematch with Alexander Usyk. Before Usyk, I fought with Joshua. I've told everyone there is nothing special about Anthony. He is just training well, that's all. There is nothing special either in terms of personality or in technical terms. He is not as talented as people say. When I fought him, I wasn't well prepared. A week before that, I had a virus. I didn't spar, I didn't do a lot of other things. I had only one sparring partner who was also sick with COVID and couldn't catch it a second time. That's why I spared with only one person. I wasn't prepared properly, but it doesn't matter. I am a warrior, so I go out and fight. I didn't perform so badly. But there is nothing special about Joshua, Pulev said. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel.